Europe. We gaming. Dude, I was watching a real car play F Zero GX for the first time, and it kind of got me pumped to play some F Zero. So this week we're doing Sonic Phantom. C body, A boost, D grip. In other words, this is gonna be good. And it's been a while since we've had like a proper good machine to use, so. Well, let's just get right into it. I might be a bit rusty, again, because I've not played since last episode of Fridays, which I think I skipped last week. Because I'm good at things. I don't mind. But there will be a lot of F-Zero next week. Oh, it does have... Okay, it does have the bad acceleration pattern where it loses speed from deep turns. That makes it a bit less good. But it's still going to be a lot better than a lot of the ones we have been using. Anyway, yeah, my plan for next week is to grind for the top 100 patch, because I have to week off, so I can justify it. And I'm gonna stream a lot of that as well. It's Mew City. I'm gonna... <laughs> You don't want to bonk. It's always a no reset run until Three, past the first two, track. One, You love to get the wall bonk. <laughs> I'm Mute City, six carrots. Ah oh, well. Wonderful. We'll take this. Good job. I love how his icon is just his fucking spine. Holy shit, is that Eliza 5? Yo, Throb Girl, thank you for good luck. Shepard's the shop girl. I am doing quite good because I have next week off. So I'm stoked. Gonna be doing a whole lot of gaming. I have been absolutely gremlin moding today. I woke up, crawled onto the couch, and I've been gaming. <laughs> I ain't done shit. And I like it. That it is. I've been playing more Champions Return to Arms and... I'm getting pretty close to finishing the first playthrough. But then it has like a new game plus kind of thing where it's like harder difficulty but you keep your character. And you can do that 
I mean, it's theoretically an infinite amount of times, but it's designed to be played through like four times. And I've never done more than one and a half. <laughs> so that should be fun. We'll see how far we get this time. I'm playing like the most I'm a healer but cleric you'll ever see. Like the only reason I'm specking into heals is just so I can clutch heal myself. Like that class is also designed to just have a lot of anti-undead spells. I'm like not using any of that. <laughs> I'm just specking into general damage. Also, wow. I want to give this a fair shot. I said it was going to be no reset past 6 carats, but... Okay, no reset past 6 carats this time. Anyway, I mean, I'm kind of just like specking into... Dealing damage and like self heal. That's that's mostly it. Mana regeneration, so I can clutch heal myself. More. Fun game. Just hit stuff with the hammer. Somewhat of a mindless game. But hey, sometimes that's exactly what I want. Would you look at that? I even got a better time. Robocop demo. Can't say I've seen or heard any of anything of that yet. Then again, I've also never watched Robocop. I don't know anything about it. Other than he's probably a robot and a cop. Pretty good. Does it also have all the crazy glitches of the Bethesda game? I think that's also a better time, I'm not really sure. Including a softlock? Damn. That's quite rough. Yeah, aside from that, I played through Pseudo Regalia yesterday. That game is very fun. I beat it in like three to four hours, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm definitely going to be playing the randomizer soon, Tian. Got another medallion puzzle. I believe in you, Emmy. You've got this. This time, 
Oh, I do have enough for another boost. And I almost <laughs> hit the same wall again. Hortons is bad. Damn. Oh, that sounds pretty annoying. I mean, demos... Yeah. Stuff like that often pops up when it's like a pre-release demo. We'll assume that they'll probably improve that. Probably just not very optimized then if it has those stutters. Very happy with this thing's boosts. <laughs> it's a nice step up from the machines I have been using the past couple weeks. I forgot to check how many times are already on the board here, but I don't think it were I don't think it was that much. Sonic Phantom's not a very popular machine in this game. Yo hi. Gaming. The machine itself is actually really nice as well. It looks like it would have very nice drift potential, if not for the fact that it loses speed from white turning. Kind of like that. <laughs> Yeah, I saw freaking Edward streaming F099, and he's gonna do F0 SNES after. That's. That's just very cool. I was watching him earlier, and he had such a perfect opportunity to just end someone right before the finish line, and he didn't, and I was just like, ooh, my goose heart. They were like smoking right in front of him. He was kind of low on energy, sure could have used the refill, but um, <laughs> nope. 
didn't take it, and I think he actually crashed out after. <laughs> I am a goose. Two laps to go. Here's a new booster. Ooh, look, that's very hype. Next week, I have a week off from work, so I'm gonna go very hard on um, trying to get top 100 in 99. I'm so excited. SHB was so right about just not drifting, or like not strafing while you're on ice. It makes such a difference. Wonderful. Good job. I have definitely noticed a decrease in the amount of players. But that's understandable. I think there's still like a lot of people playing, realistically. Given like a lobby only has a wait time of like a minute. And they're still regularly filling up within that minute, so... That indicates a pretty decent amount of players. Yeah, although I'm sure with King League there will be another resurgence. Just like we saw a little spike with Queen League. And whatever happens after. I really hope it's not gonna be too long before the next content updates. Because I imagine if it stays dormant for like even just a month or two, quite a boost. And um, that's gonna make a lot of people drop out. Yeah. Messed up my boost pattern. I still made that joke though. That's not too shabby. Yo. Thank you, Bowser. I've not been playing a lot the past few days. And I'm saving my tickets for after the leaderboard reset. But yeah, hopefully, arcade and survival. We'll drop soon, Tien. Yo, Sable. Hope you're doing well. You know, I could see them dropping those two game modes along with King Cup, because at that point we'll have the full set of tracks. But we'll see. I could also see them delaying it just so they have another update in hopefully two weeks. Oh, who knows when Maximum Velocity for Switch Online is going to drop. Oh, <laughs> was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Nice. Three, two, one. 
I'm kinda thinking they want it they don't wanna take any attention away from F Zero right now. So I'm thinking they'll finally release Golden Sun soon. And then F Zero in like a few weeks. That's my expectation. Because out of all the ones that were all the games that were shown during the NSO GBA announcements. Only Golden Sun and Maximum Velocity aren't in yet. But yeah, I think they want a lot of people to, to just stay on 99. But they probably wouldn't drop a different game while they're still trying to hype up 99. Don't know if it goes that deep, but... Yeah. That's a very cope idea. Good job. It would be pretty sick though. Choose your vehicle. Phantom. I do think Three, two, if any one. new content, Here it's I gonna am. be the broadcast satellite games. Tracks. Here's the thing. I reckon they will drop not just MV on its own, but along with GP Legend and Climax on Switch Online. I legitimately think they will. Because they already have some Japanese games available worldwide. And they have been dropping multiple games of the same series at the same time. Just like I'm confident they will drop Golden Sun Blast Age along with the first game. XHD. There's a chance. It would be very cool. I would buy it. Like, there's a lot of gamers at this point who are like, oh my god, just give us new stuff and stop just rehashing old stuff. And that's fair. But I'm weak, and I will buy a new Zero thing. Unless it's Captain Falcon's Twister Race HD. That I might not buy. Oh, that actually killed my speed. Hmm. Okay, that's... That's very mark-worthy. Very slow. If they have, if they make a GX HD, if they do, I don't know. I feel like online would be very cool, but I don't think they would do it. Like I'm quite certain they wouldn't. Go. You got a new 
Also, I definitely did lose my train of thought in the middle of that sentence. But I think that might have been obvious. <laughs> I boosted during the pool then. Gosh, I don't. Whatever. Didn't lose me too much. Like, there's a chance, but I... I'm not expecting it. Also, it kind of would be cool if they did some machine rebalancing. Because GX has a lot of pretty trash tier machines. Like, I was watching Ryukar and he picked Fire Stingray with high acceleration settings. And yeah, you're kind of setting yourself up to have a bat. Which is a shame, because there's no way to know. Blood Falcon? Yeah. For sure. It's very sad. You know, if it were like an indie dev and not fucking Nintendo. I would be like, oh my god, imagine how cool it would be if they just like, you know, based some of their rebalancing off of GX Unleashed. But it's a Nintendo, so... They wouldn't. <laughs> like there's some devs that would reach out to the community for feedback. It wouldn't happen here. <laughs> I think it was the Halo, like, Master Collection or something, they actually got some speedrunners involved. And it's just like, damn, that's kind of cool. But that would just never happen here. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your food. That killed my speed. Okay, that one kind of there. If I may disturb your meal, could you mark this track? I was a small chance I was gonna die. <laughs> Finish! Congratulations! Could you mark this track? Good job! Select a silver cup. Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. Thank you, Ned. This machine would be so sick if it didn't have this speed loss issue. Because it drifts very nicely, actually. Somehow worked out, even if slow. Hmm. 
That's gonna be another mark. It's quite slow. Yeah, we're settled in. It's still, uh... Still a bit messy. Still a few boxes. But the boxes are stacked on top of each other. So they're not very in the way. And they don't have very necessary things in them. So... You know. It's fine. Do gotta go for a cleanup soon, though. <laughs> There's still all the moving boxes that we use during the move, just sitting outside <laughs> next to our front door. As well as a cabinet that we didn't find a good place for. <laughs> Get those out at some point. So good. Not much that can go wrong here, but we'll see about the rest of the mist flow tracks. How drifty this boy is. Press the boost button during the cooldown again. When you've been playing lower grade, lower grade boost machines, and you go back to a, a rank boost, the boost is suddenly a lot shorter. <laughs> like it doesn't feel like a lot, but it's enough to mess with your muscle memory. Took the hardest possible path there. <laughs> Two laps to go. You got a new booster. Final lap. Fire. It would be. It would be so fucking funny. Damn, that's actually a really good time. Hmm. Good job. I think my PB could use some work here. Honestly, any track with a lot of mines would be hilarious in 99. 
like the amount of people in silence who just hit those mines is kind of incredible. Dude, freaking fire filled like blast circuit or whatever it's called. Blast track too. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. Ah. Uh, the amount of corpses that would be stuck in those minefields. Yeah, damn. Same here, honestly. <laughs> that was kind of risky. Like, that was a proper fucking yeek there. Like, very uncontrolled. <laughs> I missed. I really thought I was gonna hit, but sure. Again, this thing's boost is good enough that it doesn't hurt as much as with some of the other machines. CID is actually a very nice distribution of stats. Not as good as BAE, but it's pretty close. Hmm. Nice. It's funny, I don't even like really register the times that I get. Almost went too low, holy frick. I've done that once before, I think. Where I just pull up. Even though I shouldn't really have to. Okay, so high top speed. So I have to hold up on the D-pad during the jump fairly early. Candy Panther. Hey, I was too late. Holding up because I got scared. Oh! 
Okay, made it, but it is a mark because I missed the lap one shortcut. Here's the thing, at its core it's not that interesting to track. It's the fucking shortcut that makes it crazy. And that shortcut would not work in F099. Unless they very specifically get rid of the machine that picks you up, like the UFO that picks you up if you skip too many checkpoints. <laughs> they should let it work anyway. That would be kind of funny. That would be so many people just dying, because... If multiple people go for it, and they're bumping each other, like, everybody's getting screwed over. <laughs> like, no one's gonna make it out of there. That's also going to be a mark. Not a bad one, but a mark nonetheless. It would also be funny if they had great wings in 99, because obviously we're, we already have Port Town 1 and 2, this could basically just be like Port Town 3. And it would be funny to see people go for this kit. Especially the part that involves going backwards for a bit, <laughs> if you do the non-optimal version. Three different scales of white line too. It actually blows my mind how many people didn't know about holding up or down on the pad to change how far you jump. Like, I know visually nothing changes in SNES when you do it, but it still surprises me. Like, did you just think landings were always meant to be garbage? Did you never try holding down before landing and notice, oh hey, I'm also going further? The mark was um, the firefield track.
Ooh, hoo, 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 scary. It was a uh, burn up link. That was the luck. Thank you. You got Minsk. Minsk. Good luck. I struggle so much to say Minsk. Mean. Especially if you try to add the extra S, like I did in that sentence. That was very well executed. Holy frick. I reacted to that situation so well. Uh, hmm. Okay, well that was... I'm alive. Let's mark it, though. It's like I did the skip, but then I undid the skip. <laughs> That's, that was very funny. I was panicking a bit because I took the jump way too tight, so I had to hold up, but then I got scared that I held up too much. And then I kind of just like... Hit the rail, I think is what happens. But yeah, I landed it, but then I unlanded it. But at least I lived. Forever boost firing too soon now. Never learn. Great. Ooh, that's interesting. Like in that video where he plays it with Mike. funny. I I watched a whole bunch of those as well. Because I used to watch the AVGN videos on his own website, and then they had the Jeeps and like videos in like the sidebar. So I was like, oh hey, might as well check that out too. I like board games. I think board games is like my favorite side series of them. Which is not very surprising, really. Because <laughs> I don't care that much about Mike or any of the other cinemas of the people. Always incorrect. <laughs> yeah, board games was nice. You'd love to see the skip being done. On Nightmare Fear, Nightmare One, I mean. I was. <laughs> I stopped mashing too soon. Oh. I never really cared about Monster Madness that much. Because I don't care about horror movies. 
I know what I mean. Did you manage to do the Millennium Puzzle? Didn't try? Fair enough. I don't choke this. Good job. Like the best so far, except for choking Bonnie two skips, which weren't this. Three, two, Not one. I'm just sneaking by. Yeah, it all kind of worked out, huh? Uh, how much of you have? Two, Two plates? Mm -hmm. How much is left? Two left to go. You got Wanna go 50-50 on that? Yeah. Cool. Currently, yes. I'm on PB pace. Overall. Because I haven't died yet, and there's only two skips that I failed, but I survived. I'm trying my best. Sonic Panther is pretty good. It has a very strong booster, and it's pretty drifty, which is good, except it's not as powerful as it could be, because it loses speed when it makes sharp turns. That's what's really holding it back. But it's still very nice to use. Also, it has really nice top speed. What's your stupid idea? <laughs> Why is that stupid? Might as well. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I think that'll be fun. Sorry? Um. Well, I'm doing time attack all tracks. But this game doesn't have like a career mode. But theoretically you could do it like New Game Plus like career mode, right? Uh no, we'll just go into like the uh, quick mode. Choose your vehicle. I'll just do time attack. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Enjoy wild arms. Enjoy wild arms. 
I did not know that. Three, That's pretty two, sick. One, fire. Why did we start making Vortex videos, actually? Because there's Wonderful. plenty of board games left to make videos about, surely? Like, at some point I know he addressed people asking to get it back. I forget if he gave any particular reason for not wanting to make more. Other than just feeling like, you know... The storyline that he had envisioned was just done. But it didn't start off that way, you know? It was the first couple of episodes, it's just like, hey, I'm board James, I'm reviewing the board game. It's only later that he had like this whole storyline to it. Honestly, board James fits his personality personality. Jesus. Personality way more than AVGM. <laughs> he doesn't really get angry anymore. He's just a chill guy who could be reviewing board games. I think so, but honestly, just. Wonderful. <laughs> Just bring him back. Just give us board James 2.0. Yeah, we got a lot of PB. That's sick. Give us board James from beyond the grave. I don't know, I just don't really see a reason he couldn't bring it back, unless he doesn't want to, which, that's a fair enough reason. But I think I would enjoy current board teams more than I do current ABGM. recently made a video about Sonic 6.
I don't know, no other episodes have really stuck out to me recently. Tempted to look at some old episodes again. <laughs> oh. I think I saw that uploaded and I just like didn't even click it. So I've not been very interested. Wait, really? I thought... I thought Planet of Sick was more recent than that. At least I, I know I watched it more recent than that, because we watched it in our new apartment. <laughs> but I guess the episode must be a bit older. It probably is. I'm pretty sure it's always YouTube first nowadays. I think what happened is I skipped out on that episode because I wasn't really watching any AVGN. But then Emmy wanted to watch it, and so we did. Longer. God damn it. <laughs> Don't know why I called it a runaway. Don't worry about me. Anyway, now I'm going slow as fuck, so yeah. Let's mark this because that was dreadful. Only the old ones. How old are we talking? some apple juice. And the supportive F-Zero Climax announcer. How's your F-Zero 99 been going? Was it really that long ago? What the heck? Like, that feels like modern EVGM to me. But then again, I guess it, everything since the movie kind of feels like modern EVGM to me. And I guess that has been a while. <laughs>
Great. Good job. Collect your gold cup. Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. Wonderful. Good job. Select your port, platinum cup. Select your port, old cup. Not quite there yet. Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. Ah, uh, we're almost up to twin course. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I really hope I managed to land this kid. We would not be surprised if I didn't. It is a very difficult skip. And last week it took me so many attempts. Is there a climax tank that I would be so wild with this boost system? I can noom so hard in this game. Alright, let's see. <laughs> That's what I'm dead for said earlier. As well. It's ball bump. Nice mosquito in front of my screen. Actually, not nice. Yeah, we still got mosquitoes here. <laughs> it's not been cold enough to kill them all. Oh, decent enough attempts. Okay, too bad I'm slow as fuck. Lacking. The Pokemon.
EB is still on the cards even though I've missed three major skips. Way to the Great Wings Gods and to the Red Canyon Gods. Because my god, I like to <laughs> I like to die here. I was focusing there to make sure I didn't make any stupid mistakes. Wonderful. Yeah, Crazy Bear for sure. It loses some time to select it every track, but it more than makes up for it by it being fast as fuck. Crazy Bear is kind of OP. Not like super OP, but it it's optimal on almost every track. Reason for that being, it has very good top speed, and it can drift like crazy. And drifting allows you to do, like, it allows you to use your strafe to get more speed, so you can kind of just travel faster. Well, the turning being bad makes it good. <laughs> That's kind of the ironic thing. It's the slidiest, but also the one with the like slowest rotation when it turns. And both of those things make it an insane drifter. Hey. God damn it. I did the good and then I did the bad. Everybody loves Big Blue Big Pillow. Uh -huh, what a great track. Kind of surprised I didn't bump on that rail. Mark of a great track, having to bonk just to make the turn. That was a very good run of it, at least. Given that I'm using one of the machines with the bad acceleration pattern. That was actually very well executed. Good job. Like your four platinum cock. Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. Titans. Two. It's so funny how not very different this one is. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, it's so weird how they just called it that, but then didn't design it after that track. scared at the end. <laughs> Good job. Like your core, Speaking of up. scared... Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. It's so funny how much thinner the tracks are compared to 99. For good reason, of course. But it is funny. I am... Bad, holy fuck. I've never fucked up a skip like that. I'm impressed. Oh my god. God damn. Good job. Like your four flat on top. Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. Well, it doesn't matter if they call it Great Wings or Three. It's not an existing track, so it doesn't really matter. Could have been three. But uh, there's nothing wrong with it being great news. Really? Jesus. At least I could tell that was off before I committed to the shortcut. Okay, we live. That's worth something. Yeah, my PB died there. That was very silly. Dude, I've not seen this track in 99 for quite a while. Whenever it shows up, it just doesn't get a lot of votes. Great Wings worked? Oh yeah. I forgot to say, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know, I feel like it suits 99 better. Oh my god. My energy just disappeared. <laughs> that was a lot of damage to take from one collision. Well, we have a new furthest I've been without dying. Guess the deathless run does does not need to be. It has a sea body. Well, uh, I don't know. I I feel like that shouldn't have killed, but whatever. Yeah, this is not a track that you should be dying on, like, ever. No jumps. Just... Pain. Yeah, very unfortunate to lose the run there. I mean, I can technically still PB, but it's gonna be pretty tight. Get him next time, Zachary. Ah, I'm going slow. Crash right on the final turn on the final lap. Pain. Select your port, Platinum Cock. Choose your vehicle. Sonic Phantom. No, that was fine. Not good, but <laughs> it's kind of a painful track. Well, Firefield's definitely gonna be GP exclusive, just like Silence and White Man 2. So it'll only be with 20 people. But if it were 99, that would be funny.
when will the Deathless Realm happen? That was a really solid championship. Go! Yeah. Man. We do have a new personal butt. Man. <laughs> Great wings, pain, sand ocean, extreme pain. It has been a while since PB, so we will take that. But I am a little bit upset at that sand ocean. Like, that was such a crazy amount of damage to take. This game sure has fire field. In Platinum Cup, there's four old tracks and four tracks that are old but, like, remixed. One of them being Firefield, which is always uh, pretty rough. Uh, this is Climax. It is a very, very good game. Well, the thing that makes this Firefield hard is the other racers, right? Because you bonk into people, and like it's been you out of control, and you just run out of energy by the fifth lap. If not earlier. In this game you only have three laps for one. The physics are a lot more forgiving when you bump into people. Energy regeneration in general is faster. And it doesn't have bomb cars. <laughs> and the scale is also kind of just different. Like your you wanna listen to Fire Pill theme? Can do. I will be going on a little break. I can put on the fire code music for you. There you go. I'm gonna take a little break. After that, I will be replaying the tracks on which I did poorly enough. Because, uh, just as a little recap of what F Zero Fridays is, I know that it's a Sunday. I'm trying to fill in every uh, tab of a spreadsheet that tracks the best time for every machine on every track. I will show you in just a second. Also, yes, this game does have a track editor. It's quite sick, to be honest. Um... Are you targeting the right thing? So, we have this giant ass spreadsheet. Every machine with every track. There's 54 tracks in this game. And there's 39 machines. So, as you can see by the amount of Velissas here, <laughs> I've been going at this for the past year. Um, so, this is where we're up to Sonic Phantom. There's a few times filled in. But for the most part, I'm just setting times. And I want them to be decent, so. I do the all tracks run first, uh, try to just set a baseline, and for all the tracks that I did poorly on, I ask Undead Force to mark them for me, and then I come back and improve them. 
so we can kind of get like some comparison of how good each machine is compared to one another. Approximately. Yeah, right, Yukio? It's, it's very sad. Yeah, Sable. He's He's been through a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Mega. Anyway, I'll take a little break. i see you all soon. I'll play some ads in the meantime just to disable pre-rolls, and then we'll be back with some uh, time attack. <laughs> Do you want my help with the Millennium Puzzle? I'll be there. Also, yes, definitely recommend this game. It's sick. Uh, if you stick around after the break, you'll see. It's my second favorite F-Zero game.
Pew. Let's do some gaming. Oh, if they if they've made like a Mario Maker style like you know track editor plus play random tracks, I don't think they're gonna do it with 99 because it has to be playable not just for one person but with 99 people. That would have to be a separate game, and it would be very cool. But I also absolutely don't see it happening, unfortunately. Let's get started with. So I didn't have it marked, but I didn't get the shortcut on all laps on Archill. I only got the hop shortcut on lap 2, so let's do that first. F-Zero Maker would be quite cool. I don't think this pattern is gonna work out, although maybe. No. <laughs> no, maybe, sir. But yeah, in this game, you could just make your track and AI just races on it. They make it work. But there's no, like, Grand Prix on custom caps, unfortunately. You can time attack on it and you can watch AI racers on it, but you can't race against other. Like, against CPU, unfortunately. It's the one thing about this game's track editor that's just... Why? have it marked, but <laughs> I saved 6 seconds for like 5.4, so I would say that's well worth it. Now high speed edge 3... Depending on how long I take to optimize these tracks, I might play some F099 after. Let's try to get some tickets for the grind that's next week trying to get top 100. Perfect run, but very much acceptable. Next up, uh, Last Wolf.
lap to go. You've got a new bruiser. For a moment I thought I'd get this up one minute. Oh, that's a that's a good idea. That would be cool, Yukio. Always nice to see people making custom tracks for this series. Yeah, if F Zero Maker became a thing, I would hope they add those four machines. I'm still hoping they add them to F Zero Ninety Nine. Some people say we don't need them. I think they would be nice to have, personally. You can definitely still do some fun stuff with them. I mean, who can blame them? But there's people who know about them who don't want more machines because they're afraid it'll mess with the meta. And I'm personally not too worried about that. I think they're pretty balanced as they are now. But at the same time, it wouldn't hurt to see some variety instead of just the same four machines on every track. Next up is Mistering Yuk. I just kind of doubt the success of an F-Zero Maker. I think the general public would get tired of it a lot faster than Mario. Because Mario, for one, is very accessible. And there's a lot of things you can do to, like, make unique levels. Whereas a racetrack will always be a racetrack. And there's only so many gimmicks you can add without making it, like... Just not fun. <laughs> I would welcome the game still, but I don't see Nintendo putting any money into that. Then again, I'm a bit cynical, so. I also would have never guessed that they would do F099, so who am I to say? Not enough energy. Sad. It was a pretty slow attempt anyway. We can do better. Three, two, one. Fire. I think they will have an Ace League update, honestly. I think... Not having any more tracks after King League would just be the death sentence of this game. And I feel like it's done well enough that they want to keep making stuff for it. Zero educational game. Now that would be funny.
Damn it. The four lap special. Call it F099 mode. For those who missed it, I landed in front of the finish line, so I was just gonna have to do a whole extra lap. did the fucking newbie landing. Because I let go of down too soon. God damn it. So one thing you can do as like a convenient way to release tracks in this game is just make all the custom tracks that you want to make and then share your save, save file. Because, you know, most people are going to be playing on an emulator. Because the custom tracks are just stored on the save file. So if someone else puts that into their emulator or flashcards, they just conveniently have all your custom tracks in one place. It saves hours of password entry to transfer them by password. But let me tell you, those passwords are not short, and they're very prone to like small errors that you spend 10 minutes troubleshooting. There's actually been one track pack released in that way. By Pfizer. I said I was gonna speedrun that. <laughs> but I'm very bad at... Sticking with things. <laughs> Dude. Keep a second, I'm just having a little drink. Three, two, one. Oh, my child teaches biology. Putting it real close there. I'm slightly worried about my energy level. Actually, no, that's fine. Lap PB? Poggers? I put up Lap PB somewhere else as well, but I can't for the life of me remember. I think it was one of the key break tracks, maybe? Not sure. 
really sure. Also here in Sonic uh, Danny Phantom. I don't want it. No, these are all default tracks. All 54 of them. Except for like the few that are exclusive to the survival mode. This game has like an insane amount of contents. So every... You've got four cups. Platinum cup is always the same eight tracks, which is four remix tracks and four original tracks from SNES. But then, uh, um, Bronze, Silver, and Gold Cup. Um, Novice and Standard, you have the same tracks. But Novice has respawns, Standard doesn't. On Expert, you get a different set of tracks. And on Master, you get another set of tracks. So there's actually 15 tracks per cup. Fifteen plus fifteen plus fifteen plus eight, and then the championship track. That's only in time attack. Three, two, one. Fire. Now the track ed editor doesn't have some of the capabilities that uh, these default tracks do, like that little split side path. Not a thing in the editor. You can't have split paths. And it's all tile based, so anything that's like not a full tile length or multiple full tiles uh, you can't really do. I just show it off at this point. Let me just make a track real quick. Take a little detour. I'll, I'll show you. Alright, so you can pick your vertical, horizontal tracks or turns. Obviously we're gonna start with a starting line somewhere. And then you have a maximum amount of 255 points that you can fill. And that's just kinda to make 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 it so that your tracks can be like extremely long, because that just like kinda breaks. It breaks everything. There's like a hack that removes the point limit, and it starts getting very crazy very fast. But yeah, we've got normal track, we've got the start of a heel strip, which doesn't have to be the start, you can just go straight into this if you want. But you could do like... And then there's also... I believe there's also two heel paths together. Um, there's three options for boost locations next to each other. You can have backwards boosters, which is pretty funky. Uh, this is gravel, slow shit down. We're just making a piece of shit here. <laughs> Gonna embrace it. Have some ice. On the right, ice on the left, full ice, fire on the right, fire on the left, 
double fire. These are mines. These are... Oh, these are like the pushy sand parts from Sand Ocean uh, High Speed Edge. It kicks you back. <laughs> it's very, very, very mean. I'll show you with that one. Uh, little variations in track shape, and that's kind of it for the straight parts. So you've got small turns. I should have the right type of turn. Small turns with gravel, ice, fire. That's kind of it. Uh, but you can also have two by two turns. Small variety of shapes and gravel and ice and fire and mines. And there's three by three turns, which kind of just the same options here, except for U-turns. I hate this one. I'm just making a masterpiece here, to be honest. Yeah, you can have under control, control happiness. I'm never gonna actually finish this. <laughs> Let's just finish this. Add some variety here. Booster going forward. Yeah, go fast. And stuff. And then we go into. A turn that you'll never be able to make. Uh -huh. Funny! Yeah, you can do some fucked up things in this. Let's also do some sand. Why not? Show it all off. And some mines. It's a play. Perfect. What a great track. We'll name this after Yukio. <laughs> if I can spell. Which apparently I can't. The so one funny thing you can do, so you can get a password. Uh, to share with your friends. So, if anyone wants to play this track, here's the password. Have fun. Uh, you just input it through the screen. Uh, but you can actually save a ghost. Or, like, a time. And then the time that you have set on that track is also transferred along with the password. So you can make it, like, uh, a staff ghost that you have to beat. Actually, no, we're gonna go... Your mode. Time map. attack mode. Your course. Edit course. course. So, there's three default tracks. This is a track that I made at some other point. Oh yeah, there's also... I forgot. Okay. I didn't show up everything, because I forgot to show up the jump plates. Um, anyway, here's our lovely Here's custom track. Go. We're still on Sonic Phantom, so let's... Uh... Let's go Sonic Phantom. And here's our beautiful track. Three, that would be very two, interesting fight. One, I'm thinking probably not. So that's what happens when you hit a backwards uh, booster. It takes all the momentum that you have and shoves it backwards. But not straight backwards, it always kind of shoves you at an angle. As, it try as you try to go back forwards. So... Loads of fun. This is just the classic combination of like full boosters on illusion. <laughs> Absolute masterpiece. So the funny thing is, it's not unbeatable because you can actually just sneak by it. This is ice, which is pretty rough. Now we're gonna go fast! Your 
There you go. Oh, you're doing great, Tiny. I was actually gonna finish it. Yeah, there's a few things I forgot to show off there. Uh, yes, I'm dead forest very easily. Doesn't necessarily make it interesting. Like, when you design a track to have massive lap skips, it kind of just becomes a shorter track. <laughs> Unless you somehow make it, like, require a lot of skill. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh yeah, you can also just kind of choose to swap it into something else. So hey, I want it to be silent now. And I've got to show off these parts. I've got these little zigzags with ice. Or no ice. And a 3x3 three three zigzag. Smooth zigzag. Curvy zigzag. Not curvy, I mean, like diagonal, sharp lines, I don't know, words. I can have some lines, I have a jump plate, you can have fire and then a jump plate, I suppose. You can have a little, oh yeah, this is the only type of split path you can have, just within the same tile. There's not too much to it. So the sad thing is you can't have a piece of track go like through the jump. In there's actually a PC editor for F0 Climax, like fan made. And it is actually possible on that version to make a track that goes like horizontal through a jump plate, but not vertical due to some technical limitation. Either it's either only vertical or only horizontal, but it's definitely only one of the two. Dream Chaser. Alright, so now it is a silence track. Um, here's the new password. Just go back on the bot and pause it if you care. You shouldn't. And then we can just play it again. Or. What we can also do. Add a camera to watch all the racers from afar. We can have multiple. Camera angles, so we can watch them do this jump from various angles. And then we can watch them die here. Wouldn't that be fun? Three, we can watch two, this poor twin reader. I forget how to actually swap into the cameras. Alright, there's actually custom rotation. Yo. So cinematic. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well. That's unfortunate. How do you go into the camera post? Ah. Damn, what lovely camera angles I've set up here. <laughs> Whoa, wait, hang on. Did you see the way that Queen Meteor was moving? Hello?
Maybe I was imagining things, but it felt like it was kind of like moving along with the camera. Anyway, that's enough of that. Select your mode. I'm attack. We're gaming. So there's definitely some fun ideas you can execute. But it is a little bit limiting. Have another little drink before we get back into Miss Flo shenanigans. It's a shame about that final lap during the run. One day there will be an F Zero Fridays where I don't have to redo any of the Miss Flow tracks. Also, you know what's funny? So, this game lets you put backwards boosters, as I showed up there. There are official tracks with backwards boosters in the GP Legend e-cards tracks. E-reader cards, I mean. It's a Mute City track where, like, some boosters are forward and some are backwards, so you never know, like, like you have to memorize which ones are useful or just avoid all of them. Yeah, Mute City Counter. Fucking evil track. It's so funny. I forgot to pay attention to... You know, playing the game. <laughs> but yeah, Mute City Counter is like... It's so funny how the devs were just like, haha! They must be true fans if they get the e-reader tracks. Let's make them miserable. Oh, wait, really? I didn't even know that. That's funny. It definitely still exists. Even if the original download is down, I'm sure there will be some people in F-Zero Online or F-Zero Nexus that still have it. So it'll just spit out a password that you can input into your game. I used to actually do this like, well, I did a couple episodes on YouTube where I would just take uh, track submissions, play through a track, give some feedback, try to time attack it a bit. I mostly just thought because it was so tedious to enter those passwords, I did not feel motivated to do it. <laughs> FSF made a great Kaizo track. We're back. Can I get an F in chat for my splits? Because I didn't save them yet. And now I have to, if I care enough, go back and manually Add all my split times. Ah, oh, god. I also didn't save my notepad file yet that had my improvements, so I'm actually gonna have to go back and fix those too. 
which is a little bit sad, not gonna lie. But I guess that's just what I'm gonna have to do. Let me at least put in my... thingy. So I had a 122.10. TV machine. Ooh, okay. So at least there's that. I don't think I care enough to go back to retime it, because it was not that close, and it was only a 16 second PB. And I didn't get any best segments, so there's that. At least I was re recording an MKV format, so I should be able to just splice them together, no problem. Um, but yeah, I lost track of all my times that were set after... The original run. But did I did I already press save? Please tell me I press save at some point. Um, now my PC just like started buzzing, and it just froze until after a couple seconds. It just um, it just restarted. I hadn't saved any of my improved times yet. God damn it. Thank you, Yukio. Alright, we'll go back and look at that soon. Uh, for now we have some more times to improve. Alright. This was a pretty decent run as well, until it died. Nothing too special, but still a bit of a shame to lose it. Yeah, my PC hasn't crashed like that before, so I don't know what could have caused it. And because I didn't actually get a blue screen, I can't even look up what the code was to figure out where the problem might be. I'm just very glad to be recording in MKV. If you're a streamer and you're not recording in MKV, you really should. If this were MP4, I would have just lost that recording, and I would have had to use the stream bot, which has lower quality. But MKV should actually survive, even during a crash.
got it. Okay, so... Uh, that was wrong right now. 5682. Next up we have T-Break 2. Keeper 2, we have Great Wings. I think after that I have to go find out what my times were. Put them into the spreadsheet to see what else pops out. Because by all means, Sonic Phantom should be doing better than the past few machines. And if it isn't yet, then I will make it so. I missed most of that energy. Might be an issue. For Great Wings 2. One. There's only one Great Wings. Why did I say two? Maybe because it's sandwiched between Silence 2 and Red Canyon 2. to redo this track anyway. I am gonna go for the fast tracks. It only makes sense. Two laps to go. You got a new booster. Three, two, one, fire. 
That's what I hate about the fast traps. Basically just why I didn't go for it in runs. Like trying to hit the right half of that jump plate while drifting into it like that. It's not easy. input to give up. It doesn't matter, the options basically do the same thing. Still. Like, did I... How did I just input two things? Do left and right also input up and down? No. How did I just double input that? Honestly, kind of incredible. For a moment I was thinking it was like doubling my input in the same way Golden Sun does. But that would be silly. That's like a very quirky thing of Golden Sun specifically. I don't think there was any other tracks that really stood out as being very bad. So, it's time for everybody's favorites. Time of the stream! Actually, first me looking at the mod to fill in my times. I also set a lap PB somewhere. See if I can figure out where that was. Actually, doesn't the password screen have like unique music? No, it doesn't. Okay, um... So first, it's cut off a bit. Eh. Does it really matter? Honestly, no. Does this help? Okay. Um. But we gotta get to after the break. The arch hill, I. First tried 64.66. Okay. Now I have high speed at 3. That's 53, 51. And we've got the last bull, which I also first tried 60.46. Um, 
That's the first trade. Seven. This trade took a few things. Of course it did. That's what I needed to know. Um, And then we have burnt out lake. Which only saw about a two second improvement. That's okay. And then I basically just fucked around with the map editor and then I went on to hovering. Okay. Lovely. Right back where we left off. Yo, Brook. Yo, good shit on Neon Splash recently. Been absolutely destroying those times. Definitely want to come back to fight you for a couple of those. But for now, I've kind of got my hands full. <laughs> Let's get enter in those times. <laughs> Neon Splash is such a sick game, to be honest. Like, every time I think of it, I'm just like, oh, damn, it's so cool. Alright, let's get started. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly nice. Nicer than I remember. It kind of does. I'm digging it. I think I would like it as much as I do. Almost asleep <laughs> so far. The one Pfizer time always staying behind. Let's hop to two.
Right. Okay, hang on. Before we proceed... Before we proceed... We must fix this injustice. I forgot about that. have to get the massive skip here. That sounds fucked up. Twitch just having a bit of a day, huh? Stream at least. I'm not dropping any frames. But oh yeah, Twitch is kind of just like that sometimes. It used to be worse, I think. But like recently, I've like not had that issue, except for like very rare occasions. Fucking good. Um, but you have to go. You got a new booster. It's funny how Butt Spot replaced just a U in your name with butts already. There we have it. That's the good skip. Good job. It there's like some amount of logic to it. And you can set like how much of a message it butterflies. I've got it set fairly low nowadays. But yeah, usually it'll try to like replace a proper like part of a word, but I've never seen it just replace a single letter, unless it was a single letter word. Uh, anyway, let's... Let's continue... Actually, let's get better music. Okay, so I've input my 5512 here. Let's proceed. Multiply it, we have 49, 32, which was not very good. No idea who this is. Probably some random YouTube video someone found.
and there it is, 5390, which does beat the past couple of machines I've used, except for Deep Claw. However, let's do a quick little comparison. Are there any times that I'm looking at and I go like, ooh. Because those will need to be improved. Last way too is a bit slower than it should be. Yeah, I hope it's better on mobile for you. Multiplier was kinda not very good. Sidearms too was kinda not very good. But none of this is making me go like, oh yeah, I need to improve this. So actually, yeah, we are leaving it at this. 5319. It does beat quite a few machines here. But hey, um, it's only a quarter past midnight. I can do some F099. <laughs> and next week we'll have Iron Tiger. Which has a lot of work to do. So that'll be fun. Look forward to that. Until then, uh, let's dive into some F099.